Hey everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode in my Cat Clicker game tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be adding another upgrade into the shop, and I'm going to make our cat solid gold and make it fly across the screen, and when you click on it, it'll give you score. How am I going to make our cat solid gold? I have no idea. <laughs> But before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that like button and punch the subscribe button. And leave a comment down below for more scratch tutorials. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to go over the sprites and costumes you'll need. First of all, in the UI, I have two new costumes. One is called Meow Power. And it is just an, an upgrade that increases catch per click by 0.2. And then I have a, one, another one called Locked. That means we're going to add the unlocking into the game to where you have to buy a couple couple of these in order to unlock the next tier of upgrade. Then I have a sprite called Gold Cat, and it is just our click sprite, but very shiny and golden. But don't worry, if you don't want to make these sprites, or you just want to use these exact sprites, then I'll put a link in the description to a place where you can get all of my art for Cat Clicker episode 1 through 4. But with that out of the way, let's get coding. Okay, start by clicking on the stage or the backdrop, and pull out a wind green flag clicked then a wait one second followed up by a forever loop then an if total cats is greater than zero then we can wait pick random 15 to 30 seconds then we're going to create clone of gold cat so now we have this creating some clones of the cat. Click onto the gold cat and pull out a win green flag clicked. Next, make a new block and name this reset like this and make sure you click this run screen without refresh. Now you can do when I start as a clone, let's do switch costume to gold cat, set size to 25%, go to front layer, clear graphic effects, and then we're going to set Y to pick random negative 50 to 50. So that's just going to make it kind of go up and down it could be like from here to here that way it's a random every time and now let's make a new for the sprite only variable make sure you do for the sprite only that way it's independent to each clone and name this gold cat speed so now we're going to pull this underneath right here and you can go ahead and set y2 right there and we're going to go ahead and set the gold cat speed wherever that is to pick random four to six then we are going to do an if else and equals and pick random so if pick random 1 to 2 equals to 1, set x to 200 so it's on the right side of the screen. Then repeat until x position is less than negative 200. So that way it goes all the way to the left side of the screen. Then we're going to change x by gold cat speed times negative 1 because we want it to go to the left. Turn gold cat speed degrees counterclockwise. Then once it reaches the edge, repeat. 10 times, duplicate everything in here, and then change the ghost effect by 10 so it fades out. And last but not least, you can delete this clone. Now all we need to do to make the other side is do set x to 200 after you duplicate it, then repeat until the x position is greater than 200. So go ahead and delete that less than. Then change x by gold cat speed, not times negative 1, and then turn gold cat speed degrees clockwise. Next, repeat 10 times, and you can go ahead and take out everything except the change ghost effect and duplicate all of this, and then put that back in. So now we have this whole entire script working. So let's go ahead and just pull out a create clone of myself and test this out. Well, that does not seem like it's working very good. So in the reset, make sure you do show on the bottom as well. And now let's try this out. There we go. As you can see, look at that, the cat, the cat win it, and it actually is going to random sides. And as you can see, once it goes over there it fades away except it's small so let's go ahead and make it grow back so do a when i receive update right here and go into the click sprite and pull in this script right here then we're going to just change this to chain size by 100 and then divide it by 5 wait a minute we're going to do 50 so it's slightly smaller so that is what it's going to look like now we're going to pull out another when i start as a clone over here and do a forever loop and an if statement next we're going to do 
touching mouse pointer and mouse is down right here. Then we are going to stop other scripts in sprites and then change the size by negative 25. Now we're going to change the total cast by round and the reason we're going to not just make it a solid number is because say we're at one point and we get a hundred then yay we got a hundred that's a lot right? But say we're at a hundred thousand coins and then we get a hundred that's really not that much so I'm going to make it actually change by the amount of coins you have. I'm going to do total cats divided by 10 like this and put that in a plus then pick random 25 to 45 and now put that in the round. So if I go ahead and duplicate this right now I would get 37, 35, 28 but if I have 1000 coins I would get 132 or 141 so it changes depending on the amount of score you have. Then we are going to set the gold cat speed to negative 15 so it actually goes backwards point towards click sprite and then repeat until touching click move 10 steps and do gold cat speed steps then change the gold cat speed by 3 then repeat 10 times duplicate all of this and put that point towards click in there so then duplicate this change ghost effect by 10 in there and last but not least delete this clone when we click on it it will actually go in look at that it actually works so when we click on it it kind of does a little animation and goes boop and that is very 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 cool okay so I was doing some testing and it seems kind of weird so let's change some of these values instead of 10 let's do two times change ghost effect by 25 Five and take out the point towards click and now our project looks a lot better so if I create clone of the cat and I click on it goes into the cat like it's being absorbed and we get quite a bit of money now one last thing instead of giving our money right away let's change the total cats and all that right here that way it kind of looks like we get it once it hits the cat okay so now click onto the UI and let's make another upgrade so duplicate this if clone ID equals to 4 and change this to if clone ID is equal to 5 and then put that in the else and now create clones amount 5 next what we're going to do is is pull out a minus right here and duplicate this plus 288 and take that minus 55. So that is 233. Let's set the clone ID equals to 5 shop Y plus 233 because that is the spacing that works for me. So now once we click onto the shop, oh yes, look at this. We have our meow powers, wahoo. And when we click on it, it does nothing for us, but it does take our money. And as you can see, when we hover over it, it sets the cost to the right thing. There is some delay going between them. Find the script right here and go ahead and take out that repeat 25 times. And now look at that. It actually works a lot better. So when we hover over, it'll tell us the cost. So let's set the base cost for the new one to 25 and the multiplier to 1.5. So it's a little bit more. And now we can actually see our scripts from last episode working in action. When we hover over this, it'll say, hey, it's 25 coins. So this is really Really cool and all but how do we know like if we have enough money or not say we just want to have a quick way of knowing if we have enough money instead of having to read and compare our score so the way to do this is make it to where when we don't have enough money it actually makes the cost kind of red so what we can do is go into the UI and see this can buy pull all of this in to the cost find this look right here and put this on the very bottom next we can do an if else right here and and then put all of that in there and if it is then this means that we have enough money to buy but otherwise this means we don't have enough money to buy so if we don't we're going to set the color to 5 the brightness to 15 and the size of 25 and if we do have enough money then we're going to set the color to 7 and the brightness to 90. basically this is just going to make it green if we have enough money and red if we don't have enough money so right off the bat this looks like it's working so let's just test this out so if we get five coins it is the white kind of greenish color but 
this one's still red because we don't have enough money to buy it. And once again, for some reason, the shop is still being silly. So let's change this Y position because it is kind of floating still. It is the clone ID is equal to two. So let's instead of plus 132, try like 145 because now it is actually connected. But oh my goodness, now when we close it, it goes underneath. How we can do this is see this if shop open equals to no, put a if else right here and put a if clone ID is greater than three, then do all that. Otherwise, we're going to change the shop Y by like negative 56. That means that this shop will actually be in the right position now and it doesn't look so weird. Okay, so let's make you have to unlock the upgrades before you can buy them. So what we're going to do is do a when I start as a clone in the UI and make a new block and name this handle unlocking and then click OK. Next, we're going to do when I start as a clone, wait 0.1 seconds, and then handle unlocking. So find this if clone ID equals to 4 and duplicate all of that and then delete everything in here. So if clone ID equals to 4, then we are going to go ahead and make another block and name this unlock next tier after times bought, then greater than and add an input and name this times bought. We're going to do an if else and do if the clone ID equals to four, then make a new variable for the sprite only and name this unlocked. So this is going to keep track of if it's unlocked or not. And if it's equal to four, then we're going to kind of override this and set the unlock to Y for yes. Otherwise, we're going to set it to in for no, because we want to have the first upgrade unlocked because otherwise you wouldn't be able to buy anything. Thing. Then we're going to repeat until unlocked is equal to y for yes. Then we are going to do if else in here. Then we're going to go ahead and skip that for now. And then we are going to wait until the variable times bot is greater than the input times bot like here and put that at the end. Now we're going to go ahead and make a brand new list. So click on make a list and name this upgrade available for all sprites. Go ahead and find the reset right here and delete all of upgrades available in the very beginning because we don't want anything upgraded in the beginning. Now in the repeat until unlocked one, do an if else and do if the upgrades available contains clone ID, which means that we've unlocked it, then we are going to set the unlocked to yes, otherwise set it to no. Next, go ahead and find the look block, which is right here, and then add in if else into it because we're going to do some tweaking. So if clone ID is greater than three, then we're going to do this. Otherwise, switch costume to the clone ID. Now we are going to go ahead and move this if hoverable equals to Y on the bottom and add some things in to this if clone ID is greater than three. So what we're going to do is unlocked is equal equal to Y. And then we're going to switch costume to clone ID. Otherwise, we're going to switch costume to locked because we haven't unlocked that upgrade. So pull out an unlock next tier after times block and put that in this clone ID is four and then put one. So basically what this is saying is it's going to wait until we bought one of these upgrades, then it's going to run a script. And the script we want to run is we're going to add five to upgrades available because that is the clone ID of our second upgrade. We want to wait until times bot is greater than zero, not one. I'm sorry, I messed up. And the reason it's not working is because I'm really silly and I forgot to add in this clone ID equals to five. Unlock next tier after times bot is greater than zero, and we're going to go ahead and take that out. It unlocks the next tier, and it's, so that is working correctly. And you can change all of these values. See, for the clone ID equals to four, which is the lazy mouse, if times bot is greater than one, which means we have bought it two times. Then we're going to unlock the next tier. So let's test this out. So if we buy one time, well, it's not in there. But if we buy another time, boom, it unlocks the next one. And one last thing, right now you can still buy the upgrade that aren't unlocked. So we need to go ahead and change that. We need to make it where it only lets you buy it if it 
is unlocked. So find the can by and put an and condition on here. Now go ahead and put that back. Then do an equal sign and do equals yes or y. Make sure you keep it consistent. So do y if you did it and do unlocked equals y. Now it will only let you buy it if you've unlocked it. Go ahead and buy this. Okay. Alrighty. So now that unlocks it. Let's go ahead and get to 25 coin. Buy it. There we go. It lets us buy it. But say it's locked. Let's go ahead and just get 25 coins and try to buy it but it will not let me buy it and i'm clicking my mouse so really quick let's just add some functionality to this go into the plus one and make a new variable and name this dot cats per click like so for all sprites and then you can just do cats per click like that then we're going to instead of doing this plus one we're going to do a join right here and do plus join cats per click then in the reset in the player so go ahead and find the reset wherever that is then we're going to set the catch poke click to one because that's how much i want to get per click so now we get one but say we set this catch per click to 25 in the beginning as you can see this displays 25 we don't actually get 25 coins so let's go ahead and change that so in this give total cats we're going to change the total cats by cats per click so now it's actually going to work boom it gives us 25 coins and it says we just earned 25 coins so let's set that back to catch per click is one in the beginning go back into the ui and duplicate this in the buy results clone id equals to five which is our second upgrade then we're going to change hash per click by 0.2 Two. So now it should actually work. Let's go ahead and buy some of these lazy mouths and then get to 25 coins so we can actually test this out. And hopefully, yes, look at that. When we click, we make 1.2 per click now. So this is working good and there's a golden cat. But this is kind of doing that same weird thing that the cats per second did. So what we need to do is do the same thing in this round block in the click. We need to set the cats per click to round the cats per click all that stuff so now as soon as we do that look at that it cuts off all of those numbers and everything looks good so now we make two per click and this starts to really get fun because now we can buy lots of upgrades and it is looking very good so that is the end of the episode thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoy this episode if you did then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more awesome scratch tutorials but anyways this has been owen and i am out